and demonstrate uh, different ways of displaying data from different sources and detectors. So we have this uh, probe geometry in this window here, and this is a, a number of sources and detectors that were laid over the motor cortex and some sources and detectors that were over the frontal cortex of both, both hemispheres. So if we click near a detector, as we did in this case, you just see the channel from that detector with a source. So if we click near the source, it's going to give you all of the channels of data for that source, which was with three different sources, uh, detectors, as you can see uh, color-coded here in the data display. So you can click around in this way and choose a different detector uh, and different sources and see the data. If you want to see data from multiple different locations, then you would shift-click, and that gives you data from all of those channels. Now, as you click more and more channels, this uh, display here will get a little bit crowded. So you can right-click on different channels. When you right-click the channel, it disappears. So it's hidden from the display. Okay. Um, so if you right-click it again, it's re-displayed. Another way you can separate uh, uh, these channels and make it easier to view is to use the waterfall plot. So here we would enter a number um, on the scale indicated on the data plot. Uh, so let's choose 0.2. And this now separates uh, the channels of data uh, by 0.2. Actually, I meant to say 0.02. Let's try that again. Okay. So this is now a classic waterfall plot which displays all the channels of the data separated by whatever um, unit or whatever amount we indicate in this text box. So this makes it easier now if we want to shift click, we can display you know multiple additional channels of data. So I've shown you um, what happens when you shift click. You get multiple channels of data and you can do the waterfall to separate those channels of data. I've also shown you that you can right-click to hide different channels of data, and then you can right-click again and bring those channels of data back. Something else you can do is actually just simply click on the uh, color bar connecting the source and detector. And what that does is it actually just uh, marks that channel of data so that it won't be considered in future in, in, in data processing steps. So the function has to be compliant with that uh, so that it knows to ignore those data's, uh, those channels of data in future analyses. If I move over here, you see that those channels I selected have a pink background. That's just to remind you that those channels of data have been marked to not be considered in the data analysis. When you come back over here, you see it's a dashed line, so I can just click it again, and that marking has been removed. So, and you see no pink line there anymore. Those data will now be considered in future data analyses. I hope that was helpful for you.